All right, currently in Melbourne right now. Uh, we're here to celebrate Mackenzie's graduation from university. Mackenzie's my little sister and I'm gonna try and interview her because she is a type one diabetic. But first, the graduation. Graduate in business. Bachelor. Did you know that going in today? No. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Um, hungry, but it feels like it's been a long three years studying. It's been long. <laughs> How are your sugars? Oh. I'm actually kind of high right now, <laughs> um, but I'm good. I think it's just nervous. And I'll probably come down soon at my phone, no doubt. Awesome. Let's go get some lunch and see how high you can get. Okay, I'm with Mackenzie Jane, my little sister, who is also a type 1 diabetic. You've been a diabetic for 15 years? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> um, and you just got something. I just graduated, got my Bachelor of Business. Very excited. Something I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that diabetes defines you now? I mean, any chance I get, I'll be like, I'm a diabetic just as a joke, for fun. Like, two lies and a truth, or is it two truths and a lie? I'm always like, I'm a diabetic, and to see what people say, because I think people usually think, oh, you're type two. And I'm like, no, I'm diabetic, like, it's good. What do you use to check the blood? So I use the, the Libra, um, the monitor where I scan it. Yep. And I'm on Nova Rapid and Lentis, I have insulin pens, blood reader. Insulin. How was diabetes at you? Um, fine really. Um, not too bad. I don't usually hyper. I rather tend to go higher. So I don't. I don't want to have been obviously faint or I prefer to be a lot higher. So. Um, do you do any sports? Um, I did cheerleading for um a year, and I just go to gym sometimes. <laughs> Try. <laughs> I remember when Georgia and I, Georgia's another sister, had diabetes and Mackenzie would get jealous because we would hypo after dinner and get have to have dessert. And then one day you said at dinner, you wish you had diabetes. It was also for the Rufus teddy bear that was a diabetic. I just wanted the teddy bear and I wanted dessert. <laughs> so and it's true. I care for what you wish for. <laughs> How was being diagnosed? Um... I remember it was easier because mum had you guys, so she used one of your blood readers to test me. And I, I just remember being in hospital and I had a, another diabetic friend meet, like I met there and I don't know, I think I was kind of frustrated with the needles, I just wanted the teddy bear, but I think hospital was fun. I feel like it was a really good experience. I love the hospital food, which is kind of sick. <laughs> You're weird. I know. <laughs> How does it affect your life? I don't let it affect my life. I don't think about it as something that takes away opportunities. I, it's just something I have and I deal with and it's part of my life. I don't think it's stopped me from doing anything I've wanted to do. I worry that I won't be able to afford it my whole life. Like that's the worry because it's so expensive and the government doesn't fund much. I hope my kids don't have diabetes, but if they do, I know they'll be fine. I hope they have what we have, which all of us have diabetes. I think that's helped a lot that we can all help each other. I'm scared of actually like 
bad things happening when I'm like 30 or 40. So I haven't been treating myself well or something bad happens, but I guess that's normal really to hear that. Any high five stories? I don't have any high five stories. As I said, I like to run high, which I hope some people will like that because I don't know, I just don't want to lose control. I don't want to faint. I don't want to like be in behind my car and have a high so I'm mostly high, which when I say high, I mean 10 to 15 really. But it's not good, but I prefer it. Have you tried the pump? I did the pump in high school and I stopped um, from doing like life-saving and not just activity, but mostly because it was just a lot to have. I think the technology is a lot better. I had it like 10 years ago, so I'm hoping, um, from what Georgia said, our sister, she said it's a lot better, technology-wise. So maybe I, maybe I will try it again. I just, right now, I just didn't want to deal with it. Diagnosed diabetic. You'll be fine. You'll just be fine? <laughs> reach out to a good network of family and friends. Um, let them know what you're going through. It's hard work, but it gets better. And it's fine. You get used to it, and it's manageable. And it's great, you always get to have food on you. It's amazing. There you go, heard it first. My little sister, diabetic. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm very excited for Kenzie. She got all the looks from me, the books from Dad. Okay. <laughs> Means you're done. <laughs> Are you proud? <laughs> See you, Marco. See you, Ron. Love you. I feel. <laughs> 